Hello and welcome to Loppy Loves. If you haven't been here before, my name is Lauren and on this channel I talk about my life as an immigrant living in Iceland. In today's video I am going to be listing 10 things that you should not do in Iceland. And this video came about because every so often I will have someone messaging me saying that they're planning a trip to Iceland and like telling me about their plans. And there are usually one or two things on the list that I wouldn't recommend doing. Um, so that's why I decided to make this video today. So the first thing on this list is do not buy bottled water in Iceland. The water in the taps is very clean, it's good water, um, and it's just the same as what you'd buy bottled. So save yourself some money and just bring your own reusable bottle with you and fill it up from the tap. And I remember a few years in Reykjavik, I was actually in one of my favourite restaurants, Shalimar, and there was a couple there, and the man, he was English, of course, <laughs> he ordered some water for the table, and so the waiter just brought over a jug of tap water, and this man went crazy. He flipped out at the waiter and was like, do I look like I drink tap water? Bring me the bottled water. I was sitting in the corner just trying not to say anything, but it was quite funny. <laughs> Number two is do not eat whale meat while you're here. There are a few restaurants in Reykjavik that sell whale meat and advertise it as like a, a traditional or a common Icelandic meal. I don't think I know a single Icelander that eats whale meat. Um, but I've asked a lot of them and I don't know many people that have ever tried whale meat even. A lot of the whale meat here is just served in the restaurants for the tourist industry and we would like to stop whaling in Iceland preferably. A lot of people are very anti-whaling here. So we just need to stop the demand. If you buy the whale meat in the restaurants you are contributing to the industry so just please don't buy it. Do not ignore the warning signs. If you visit places, especially out in the countryside, there will often be warning signs, like warning against the hot springs, uh, warning against the sneaker waves at Reynisfjara, which is the Black Sand Beach in the south. Don't ignore the signs, they're there for a reason, they're there to protect you. Just follow what the sign says, it's not worth losing your life over something stupid because the sign was right there and you ignored it. And not only are you risking your own life, but you're also risking the lives of the volunteers who work for the rescue teams who would have to come out and save you if something were to happen. This is one that a lot of people tell me they're planning to do. Please don't. So do not go wild camping in Iceland. It is not allowed here. A lot of people tell me that they're just planning to rent a camper van and just park anywhere along the way. You cannot do that in this country. It is not allowed you'll probably have locals come in and knocking on the camper van and telling you to move. In Iceland, you have to camp in a designated campsite. They're very cheap, they're everywhere around the country, and you can find a list of them on chalda.is. And I will put a link to that website in the description below. Do not go off-roading in Iceland. Please stick to the roads. The nature here is very delicate. There is moss that has been growing for a very long time that will be damaged if you drive onto it. So please just stick to the roads. And just as a little side note, please don't pull up the moss to like spell things out. It's not going to grow back as quickly as you think. The summer that I moved here, it was in the news that someone had pulled out clumps of moss to spell out send nudes on the side of a mountain on the way to Reykjavik. Just, just don't do that stuff. <laughs> Another one that a lot of tourists don't like, um, please don't avoid showering before entering the pool. You need to shower and you should shower naked. I understand that it probably feels very uncomfortable, especially if you're from the UK like me. To take all of your clothes off in a public space feels very uncomfortable, um, but you do get used to it. And plus no one cares, there is no one watching you in the shower. Um, everyone's just minding their own business, they won't even bat an eyelid that you're completely naked. But the rules are there for a reason. I believe that there is less chlorine in the pools in Iceland than in some other countries. So it is just a hygiene regulation to keep everyone safe. And again, it's another rule to protect you. What people normally do is just undress fully, take their swimsuit with them to the shower area, have a shower, and then put the swimsuit on in the shower and go to the pool. And there are posters in the shower area, it's like a picture of a human body and it points out which parts of you 
need to be washed with soap. And it's normally like the head, the armpits, the groin and the feet, as far as I remember. I'll try to find a picture and insert it into the video somewhere here. Please do not travel in a severe weather warning. It doesn't matter if you have a flight to catch or if you have another hotel to be at. Do not risk your life. Just change your plans. And the chances are that even if you do have a flight to catch, it's going to be cancelled anyway if there is a severe weather warning. Some hotel owners might be lovely and give you a free night if you can't leave because of the weather, but just make sure that you do have enough in case you can't leave. This is an interesting one, but please don't record people without their permission. I feel like that shouldn't be said and that should just be human decency anyway, but in Iceland it is illegal to record someone without their permission, so you could be sued for it. I used to work at a restaurant and we would quite often have tourists come in to film us preparing their food, and it did get quite annoying sometimes and I wouldn't have minded most of the time if they had just asked first, but they never did. And I remember one time my colleague actually said to them, don't record us, like you didn't ask us, and she wasn't comfortable with it. So they were like, oh, okay, okay. And then they sneakily got their phone up, like we couldn't see them and were recording them again. But just don't record people without their permission anywhere, but especially in Iceland, because it is illegal here. Do not try to barter in the shops and restaurants. <laughs> I find that weird anyway, but clearly it must be common in some other countries because I've worked in a few restaurants here and we will have quite a few customers that will try to barter on the price or try to get extras included for free. But the price that you see on the menu or listed on the shelves, that is the price you pay. You will not get a discount by bartering with the staff. I think most of the time they are not allowed to give a discount to you. You can get some discounts in some restaurants and also I think on some shops through an app called Icelandic Coupons. That is an app where you do have to pay to have access to the full list of coupons. It's not a huge amount of money, but I think they do actually have some free coupons just available when you download the app if you don't want to pay. And finally, do not arrive in Iceland unprepared for your trip. Make sure you have the right clothing, Make sure you have enough money to cover your trip and actually I would account for a little bit extra money just in case because Iceland is expensive and I do find a lot of people don't plan very well and think that they can get away with spending less than what is reasonable here. And also make sure that you know where you can eat or you know where the supermarkets are if you're going to cook for yourself. Don't assume that every restaurant is going to have an option for you like gluten free, vegan accommodation for allergies. Just do your research before and just come prepared when you visit the country. Okay, so that is my list of 10 things not to do in Iceland. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with the list or if there are some things that you would change or you have any other things that you would recommend people not to do here. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!